Hello, welcome to High Point Music's Gear Reviews. I'm Lewis, and today I'm going to be taking you through one of my favourite pedals, the Tim Guitars Seaweed Fuzz. The Seaweed Fuzz is the signature model pedal for the guitarist uh, Isaiah Mitchell from the band Earthless and Golden Void, and a few others from time to time. Uh, it's based on a late 60s Big Muff and has a few cool uh, features that I think make it a, a standout pedal. Uh, the ability to switch between a triangle big muff and a tone bender uh, fuzz pedal, which I can show you the sound differences between. And it also has a mids boost option, which flattens the typical mid scoop out to be a more neutral sound. Uh, and I find that a, a really great tool for a, a boost or in a live scenario to stop your guitar from uh, being lo lost in the mix, so to speak. So I'll take you through some of my favorite settings and what it can kind of do and uh, show you what it sounds like. Today I'm playing my Fender Stratocaster, which sounds like this. Uh, into the input of the Seaweed. From the amplifier connection of the Seaweed, we're running out to our two notes LeClean preamp and I'm running it from a uh, nine volt DC power supply. These pedals do not run on nine volt batteries at all. So a power supply is a necessary accessory. Uh, I'll show you what it does to make some noise. So the first switch to be aware of is weed, which is the bypass uh, button to turn the pedal on and make it sound like this. We've got our volume setting, which controls obviously the volume of the of the effect. The tone setting, which is our reasonably common uh, bass and treble filter, uh, anti-clockwise from its mid or twelve o'clock position, it will cut treble and introduce more bass, and clockwise from the middle position, it will increase the treble. So. That sounds like this. I've got it at the moment where I normally use it at about two. So you can hear in that lower range of the tone settings, it does get reasonably muddy, but sounds pretty good for lead work or some riff work. Again, I like to use it about two o'clock because to me that's where it is the, the most brightest and uh, without getting too uh, edgy on the top end. The uh, next control is the sustain control. Uh, it controls the amount of distortion or the amount of clipping in the signal. At the moment, I've got the pedal in its kind of low gain sounding setting or low gain to me. It's still pretty big muffy at this point, but I like it because it's reasonably clear and the harmonics are nice and rich. So you can still get a fair bit of uh, uh, rhythm work and, and chord work out of it without it getting too, too hard to hear what's going on. And uh, from there, the gain goes up. So I'll push the gain control up to about 12 o'clock. Uh, leave the tone setting there. I can show you some of that difference in a little bit. Uh, but this is its kind of medium gain range. So 
So here, as that sustain increases, we're getting that nice uh, percussive sound of the pick hitting the strings. It seems to have a thump to the notes as that gets higher and higher, uh, as the bass response increases a little bit with the gain. So I'll take it up from here a little bit more to uh, kind of the setting I normally would have it on for a, a heavier fuzz sound, which is taking it from its uh, 12 clock position. about three o'clock. And then from here we'll go to the maximum. So So you can hear that it's kind of getting the uh, that beautiful saturation that a Big Muff gets. Being taken from an older style Big Muff pedal, uh, it doesn't get too over the top. Uh, the, uh, it's still nice and rich, but it's not uh, crazily saturated by comparison. So the interesting feature about the, uh, one of the interesting features about the, the Seaweed pedal is the mids boost function. So I'll take it back to this sort of my favorite setting. I'll turn this mid switch on. And so what it's doing is it's changing the tone stack. Usually on a big muff, uh, if there's a bypass switch for the tone control, it cuts that completely out of the circuit. But on this pedal, it changes the tone stack to give you that flat mids response which results in a, a more present uh, sound, particularly used for live. Or if you're playing around with the tone control, you'll find that you get a bit more range out of the pedal uh, rather than just bypassing that tone stack and not being able to use it to shape your top and bottom end. So I'll go over that one with the sound again. So you can hear there's a big change in that pedal there. I tend to use the, uh, the mid switch on all the time because I like to be as present as I possibly can in the mix. Uh, I know a lot of people use this pedal, um, use the mids as a solo boost option to take it from their big muff sound to a, uh, a lead break or if they're playing a riff or the head of a tune, it's a great way to really stand out. So the Second feature this pedal has that makes it a bit different from, or makes it quite different from other fuzz pedals, is it has the ability to change between a triangle big muff and a tone bender. And the tone bender has a little bit less gain and a little bit less brightness, but when you play, it almost seems as though the distortion sound is sitting in the background a little bit um, from the clean tone. So I'll turn that on and show you what that sounds like. Quickly go back to the triangle. And the tone bender. So it's pretty obvious in that setting that that uh, clean guitar, guitar tone seems to be much, for much further forward in the, the mix of the guitar signal uh, and the distortion sits a little bit further back. 
I actually love tone benders on bass guitar. I think it's a great way to keep the, the bottom end and the presence and the, the boldness of a guitar sound there without letting the, uh, the fuzz or the distorted sound kind of uh, wash your signal out. So I'll give you some tone bender now and show you the mid switch with the tone bender on. And I'll show you a little bit more range with the tone knob. So that's about nine o'clock. You can hear that the, the mids is uh, a little bit honky in this kind of sound. So again, it's a, it's a great uh, attention getting uh, tone. Bring that all the way back. So that's a very quick run through uh, of the seaweed. Now there's a, a lot of features you can get through on this pedal. It's a pretty great jack of all trades. I like to use it as an overdrive uh, as well as a fuzz, but I tend to run it as you see there with the, the, the gain at about three o'clock. My tone doesn't usually change from about two and uh, the volume settings are always just on unity. Again, I leave the mids on all the time. That's quite a personal preference. It's not a traditional sounding big muff with the mids on, but I think in a live scenario, it's a, it's a great way to keep your guitar at a constant uh, volume and a constant sort of tone, uh, which will help the sound guy to do his thing and help you to keep your guitar going in the mix. So uh, as I mentioned, I, I absolutely love the Seaweed. It, it's probably my favorite fuzz pedal um, and I have a silly obsession with fuzz pedals. So if you get the opportunity to check one out, I would highly recommend it. I can put some links below for you to have a look at it. Uh, there are lots of big muff pedals in the world though and um, there's going to be a few options for you to try so get out there and check out a few fuzzes uh, you, you won't you certainly won't be disappointed if you've uh, enjoyed the video and you'd want to uh, give us a like or a comment or a share we certainly appreciate the feedback and you can also check out our members area for more information on this and some other pedals and if you've liked it of course we'll see you next week thank you